ever peeked into your aquarium and thought, did my tank just grow a beard overnight? Oh my God! That fuzzy green stuff creeping up your glass, dancing on your plants and photobombing your fish? That's algae, the most loved and hated resident in the aquarium world. But here's the twist. Is algae really the slimy villain it's made out to be? Or could it be, plot twist, your tank's misunderstood MVP? Today, we're diving deep into the mysterious, misunderstood, and sometimes mildly disgusting world of aquarium algae. All right, algae isn't just green gunk clogging your tank. It's a chaotic family reunion of species, each with its own quirky personality crashing your aquarium like uninvited guests. Green algae, meet the chill cousin who's basically the garnish on your tank salad. It's the stuff you spot first, vibing with your plants. In small doses, it's harmless. Your fish munch it like it's aquatic popcorn. Brown algae, this emo cousin loves new tanks or dim lighting, dusting everything with a gloomy brown film. It's like the tank's got a bad spray tan. But don't worry, it usually fades as your tank matures or you crank up the lights. Blue-green algae sounds like a tropical cocktail, but surprise, it's not even algae. What? It's cyanobacteria, the smelly jerk that forms slimy, stinky sheets faster than your group chat blows up. It's the algae equivalent of that guy who overstays his welcome. Hair and thread algae. These are the drama queens, growing long, stringy, and extra. They drape over your plants and decor like aquatic tinsel, thriving when nutrients and light are out of whack. It's like they're auditioning for a seaweed soap opera. Black beard algae, the tank's supervillain, complete with a menacing goatee. This stuff is tougher than a $2 steak, laughs at your algae scrubber, and fish won't touch it unless they're on a hunger strike. So, where do these party crashers come from? Spoiler, they're already in your tank. Sneaking in via tap water, new plants, decorations, or even hitching a ride on your fish like tiny freeloaders. You can't stop them from gate crashing, but you can control their vibe. Light, nutrients, and water quality, the unholy trinity of algae growth. Too much light? Your tank turns into a green disco. Leftover fish food? Algae's throw in a buffet. Dirty filter? Welcome to the algae apocalypse. Your tank doesn't hate you. It's just nature's way of saying, clean up or I'm inviting more algae to the rave. Hold up, before we eat algae out of the aquarium like last week's leftovers, let's give it some love. In small doses, algae is like the quirky sidekick your tank didn't know it needed. First, algae's got a day job, photosynthesis. It pumps out oxygen faster than a yoga instructor preaching deep breaths, keeping your fish happy and tank aerated. Free O2? Your guppies are sending thank, thank you notes. Next, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Fish like Otocinclus, Amano shrimp, and Nerite snails scarf down algae like it's the grand opening of an aquatic Taco Bell. Some aquarists even grow it on purpose to keep their tank crew stuffed. Algae also pitches in for the biofilm squad. That slimy layer on your tank surfaces? It's a bacteria Airbnb, hosting the good microbes that break down waste and keep ammonia levels from turning your tank into a fishy horror show. Plus, algae's a nutrient sponge, slurping up nitrates and phosphates like a vacuum at a glitter party. In a balanced tank, it helps prevent toxic spikes or invasions by nastier algae types. It's like the roommate who leaves dishes in the sink but still pays rent. And let's talk aesthetics. A touch of green algae on rocks or driftwood? That's the secret sauce for that wild underwater jungle vibe, not some sterile lab tank. It's Mother Nature's interior decorator at work. But here's the deal. Moderation is key. A sprinkle of algae says your tank's alive and thriving. A full-on algae rave? Yeah, that's a problem we'll tackle later. So, algae's not always the villain twirling its mustache. Sometimes it's the unsung hero quietly keeping your tank's ecosystem from ghosting you. Okay, now that we've thrown algae a bone, let's talk about its dark side. When algae goes rogue, it's less helpful roommate and more that dude who raids your fridge, trashes the place, and DJs dubstep at 3 a.m. First, it's an eyesore. Your tank goes from serene aquascape to swamp monster smoothie blender. Algae coats the glass, clouds the water, and smothers your plants like a green ninja on a stealth mission. Second, it's a plant strangler. Algae hogs light and nutrients like a greedy toddler with a cookie jar. Your Anubius or Amazon sword? Starved of light, they'll turn yellow and sulk like they just got dumped. Third, it's a time thief. 
you'll spend more hours scrubbing glass, vacuuming gravel, and wrestling fuzzy rocks than actually chilling with your fish. Green water, slimy decor, creepy black patches, it's like algae's playing whack-a-mole with your sanity. Some algae are straight-up supervillains. Blackbeard algae clings like it's auditioning for a glue commercial and scoffs at your scrub brush. Blue-green algae, aka cyanobacteria, smells like a zombie snail rave and can release toxins that stress your fish and plants. Worse, algae can mess with oxygen levels. By day, it's a CO2-sipping hero, but at night, it hogs oxygen like your fish, potentially causing an oxygen crash in a bad bloom. Think silent fish assassin. The kicker? Algae grows faster than your group chat during drama. One night with too much light, leftover fish food, or a skipped water change, and boom, your tank's an underwater jungle. So yeah, algae's not always the bad guy, but let it run wild, it's a tank-wrecking menace that'll have you questioning your life choices. Algae's been partying like it owns your tank. Time to evict it. Here's your no-nonsense battle plan to stop algae from turning your aquarium into its personal rave. 1. Cut the lights. Too much light is algae's red bull. Stick to 6 to 8 hours daily with a timer. Near a window? That's an algae VIP pass. Move the tank. 2. Stop overfeeding. Uneaten food is algae's buffet. Feed once or twice daily. What fish finish in 2 minutes? Leftovers? Siphon them out before algae RSVP. 3. Water changes are king. Algae hates clean water. Swap 25 to 30 percent weekly to starve it of nutrients. No excuses, even if your fish flash puppy eyes. 4. Scrub like you mean it. Grab an algae scraper or magnetic cleaner for the class. Decker looking fuzzy? Scrub gently, no bleach tantrums. 5. Hire algae hitmen. Otocinclus, a mono shrimp, Narret snails, or Siamese algae eaters munch algae like it's their 9 to 5. Pick ones that fit your tank. 6. Plant power. Live plants like hornwort or water wisteria hog nutrients and light, leaving algae crying in the corner. They're your tank's bouncers. 7. Balance CO2 and fertilizers. In planted tanks, wonky CO2 or fertilizer overloads are algae's besties. Dose carefully for a drama-free tank. 8. Blackout blitz. For dire blooms, green water, cyanobacteria, go dark for three to four days. Ensure fish have oxygen. Algae hates this power move. Chemicals is last resort. Algocides or XL can work, but don't go mad scientist. Follow labels and use sparingly. Your tank's not a chem lab. Is algae your tank's supervillain or secret MVP? Spoiler, it's both. Think of algae like that coworker who either steals your lunch or saves your butt during crunch time. It's all about keeping it in check. A sprinkle of algae? Your tank's thriving. A green explosion? Cue the scrubbing, cursing, and existential tank crisis. Love the fish food buffet jabs or learn something? Smash that like, subscribe for more tank tips, and spill your algae horror stories in the comments.